All right, in this video, we're just going to take the rest of the functions that we have and turn them into classes. So repetition here, if you want to skip to the next one and just get the code, that's totally acceptable. Um, I'm just going to follow along over here. Forgive me. Forgive me. All right. Yep, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm just going to stop looking at that and just do this. Cool, so let's create one for simple lines. Class simple lines extends layer. I'm going to inherit all of that stuff. We need a constructor function. We need to uh, get all that stuff from the layer function. And then we need to do anything. Um, you know what? This is going to be e easier if we have both of these up at the same time. So this is our new one, and this is our old one. So anything that's unique to simple lines. So the step, um, we have steps out already in the blueprint. Um, so let's go ahead and figure out what we want to do there. Um, number of steps. We'll start there. And so to convert this, we can just get rid of that stuff. Um, this dot steps out become oops becomes this dot steps out number of steps same thing and this dot start should do it let's see if we get any errors there well let's just okay it's the right thing to do so we want to create um, let's call this simple lines equals new simple lines console.log simple lines all right we can stop with this one cool so we've created it all of our stuff seems to be set correctly including all of our thin stroke and color and all that stuff that all makes sense right so good, we've instantiated it, we've created one, and now we need to be able to draw one. So we'll call a render, we'll create a render method rather. Um, did we get angle? Yeah, we have angle and we have num shapes, we have stroke color and weight. Good. So let's just copy this in. Excellent. Um, and then we'll just start adding the this keyword wherever we need it. riveting and lastly this dot angle okay cool so if everything went as planned we should be able to call simple lines dot render and we should be able to see something Ooh, what did we do wrong those are new simple lines simple lines dot render no fill, push, translate, line, and rotate. That all looks good. Let me check my thing here. Did we get num shapes? Yes, we did. All right. So in this case, Troubleshoot, I would console log out. Maybe make sure that I have everything I need that is also in, in here. Great. So I'm going to need a stroke color. Do I have that? Sure. Looks like I do. I'm going to need a weight. Do I have that? Um, no, it doesn't. Maybe that's part of our problem. So um, it looks like we are not setting a weight. That's something that we can do here. Uh, I'll just copy it from here. And instead of one and three, it'll either be this dot uh, thick stroke or this dot thin stroke. Let's see if that has anything to do with it. Yes, it did. 
Excellent. Okay. So let's make sure we get a 12. I haven't seen a 12 yet. That's a lot of sixes. So number steps. Oh, we don't want number steps. We want num shapes, right? Num shapes. Oh, no, we do want number steps. Sorry, we just don't have num shapes yet. So let's go over here. Let's get it. And do all of our this stuff. And it's this is changed now. This is this dot sides. Num shapes, num shapes. Still not seeing any twelves there, are we? Um, oh, we need to redo angle because our num shapes may have changed. So this dot angle equals uh, 360 divided by num shapes. We need this keyword. There we go. There's our 12. Let's turn on our test lines just for funsies. We'll turn that into a class as well. But this will make sure that everything is still good, that we're not going too far, that they're on the lines that they should be. And I think we're doing pretty good there. Okay, let's continue with this exercise. So we just did simple lines. Get rid of that. Let's do outline shape. Class outline shape. Oops. Uh, definitely try to do this one yourself. And then compare it to what we come up with. All right, so maybe you're back now. Maybe you never stopped the video. That's fine too. So we're gonna have a constructor and we're gonna have a render function. Those are the two things we always have. And in this constructor, we always need to um, get the stuff from the parent and then set all of our uh, unique stuff. So we want to, the weight is gonna be unique every time we create a new one of these, right, because Every time we run the system, it should be different. Great. Um, and this is this dot thin stroke and this dot thick stroke. Great. And then it looks like the rest is just drawing stuff. That's nice and easy. Add our this keywords. Let's see if I can do this the smart way. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's try it out. Let's try. Const outline shape equals new outline shape. Outline shape dot render. In layer 61, I have a problem. Did I not close that correctly? Oh yeah, extends. Forgot that. Cannot be invoked without new on layer 61. Is everything correct here? That looks fine to me. Extends layer. Oh, this is messing me up. Duh. Cool. All right. Looks good to me. Stupid mistakes. And lastly, we're going to do test lines as well. You know what? Actually, let's just leave test lines as a nice, easy function that we can call anytime we want. Um, we're... I mean, what are we really doing here? I guess we could, but this just seems like a nice helper function more than anything. So I'm actually just going to put it over here and we'll save it as a function and make sure that everything works nicely. Cool. Let's make sure we can get all of them working. We don't need a console log anymore. 
and we don't need oh, we, we could use this let's call it something a little more clear all right so now we've rendered circles sample lines we're gonna see everything great let's see some lines here folks there we go awesome so then the other thing we might want to do well let's let's stop there that's good enough for now right 